the fourth video so in the last video we have seen about the data analysis data visualizing terms in much detail so in this particular video we are going to see how we can just deal with the null values because we have seen in the initial that whenever we have we did not do anything about the null values we have checked the null values means how many null values we have for the ph for the sulfide for the t tri and this all thing but how we can just deal with the null values we have either you have two solution one which solution is that you can just remove that particular row that contains the null values and the second one is that you can just fill that null values with the mean or median okay so we can just go with the mean mean terms mainly so now we can start with the particular uh, seeing that how many total percentage that is basically how many total num uh, percentage you have null values in that pH column or sulfate column or thrilite column okay so now let's start so basically we are going to plot first of all I'm going to plot you it, it is going to be look more attractive so you are able to even visualize df dot is null dot mean we are just taking total number of that is uh, I mean uh, basically we are just taking all the null values and, and the mean of that null value and we want to plot that one okay plot that basically which plot we are going to do that is a bar plot and in that we can just pass the fixed size that is a figure size so we can just pass here fig size and here we can just pass here whatever you can mention 12 comma 8 i'm just going to mention here df dot is null and then after dot mean you are just writing here and plot dot bar okay and then after let's see whether it's going to plot then after i can just this is how we are getting uh, I can just write here 10 comma 8, it will be fine. 10 comma 6, I can mention. It's looking really big. Okay. This is how we are, it is going to be look like. You, you have in the in the x axis is basically your the features. I can just now even we, I can just label that is plt dot x label as basically you have the features and the P A P L T dot y label you have basically what we can just say as the uh, percentage of missing value okay just write here and just plot so this is how we are getting df dot is null dot mean basically it's it start with the df dot is null dot mean is basically for the plotting means how uh, that is a figure size we are getting as 10 cross uh, that is 10 cross 6 we are just plotting this simple we are even the labeling so we can just see that for the ph we are getting as a 15 percent like 0 0.15 for the sulfate you are getting approx 25 or something for the thrimomethanes you are getting something approx 0 0.05 this is what we are getting the percentage for the missing value now the main thing is how we can just remove this null values or how we can just fill this null value then we can use with the help of mean means whenever in suppose you have ph column in that ph column you have something uh, a total number of missing values 400 something now you don't want to remove all the 430 data that is data is really important more the data we need the more the accuracy we are going to get but what we will do we will just fill that data with the mean of that the all the ph value so that is really a, even you will get some rough idea with the help of mean so this is what we are just taking so from df particular data frame i am just calling the ph column okay then again i'm just writing a df from the ph column and now i want to fill dot fill and a fill and a basically it contains the now and to fill the null value where you have the null values where you will find any row in the ph column we are going to find the null values we want to just uh, basically we uh, we want to just fill with the mean of the ph okay we can just write here mean the similar way i can just go with the sulfide okay sulfide basically sulfide we have the null values already we are able to see this thing df and then again i'm just writing a sulfide that is sulfate and uh, what i'm just writing sulfate not that sulfate okay and then after from that df dot sulfate dot fill and a and then what what i want to just fill in a df dot again i have to just fire say a sulfate and then after i want to just fill with the null value that is basically mean of that one mean and then next one uh, oops the next one is basically yo so the next one is basically trihalomethanes so basically i can just write here 
T R I H A L O M E T H A N E S. Okay. So we have to also concern with the spellings. Even the single spelling mistake, or uh, it will just throw you an error. Okay. This is what we are just taking here, and then again I'm just filling the N A. Again this one with the mean on that. Let's see now whether we are getting. Now we can just write here D F dot is null dot sum. Let's see now whether we have data set is a neat or whether it returns in again the null values. Now we are able to see that we don't have any null values now. We already fill all the null values with the mean of the particular column. So that I hope it's really clear to you. Okay. So even if you want to plot the heat map, how we have just done in the previous SS SNS dot heat map, uh, SNS dot heat map, and you can just write a df dot is null. Previous it was just showing something. This is what it was just going for the previous. That is basically this one. But now for the nil null values, you are getting something all the red because you don't have any null values here. Okay. So this is all about the how to deal with the null values. Okay. So that's all for this particular video. And uh, in the next video, we can just do with the pre-processing terms like we splitting the data for the training and for the testing. Thank you.